So we are back onto the old dollar bill here, buddy. All right, so last few things to tighten up, right? So as you can see, it's getting a brand new hydraulic saw post for the uh, hydraulic clutch setup. That's what we're gonna put in right now. As you can see, it's missing the uh, banjo bolt right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to source one out. I believe I have one. So we can put this on and finish this up today. Bleed this up nice and pretty, you know, make it make it uh, some pump action. And uh, we're gonna do that. What we're gonna focus on today is that. We're gonna focus on getting this uh, hydraulic soft hose put on, bled out, clutch working, functioning with the pedal inside. And then we're going also to uh, bleed the uh, brakes the entire brake system four sides all the way around we're gonna do that so that uh, we know we have brakes and we know the clutch is gonna work uh, this setup was in my one of my running and driving cars so I know it's good the only thing that is not from is uh, uh, pieced together is of course the clutch setup hydraulic clutch setup excuse me so we're going to do that we know the wiring here works so we're just gonna cover it up make it look good it is running on a button, so this has to get, you know, hid under some of this uh, 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 cover here so that uh, you don't see the red just flying solo through the middle of the engine bay. And some small, I think it has a small leak right here, which I just got to torque it up a little bit. There's nothing coming out of here or over there or anywhere else. So, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. A ver, uh, let's uh, do this right here. Vamos a hacer esto. Let me go source one real quick. I saw them here in my little junkyard, right? So, I have one right there. You see? I'm going to use that one right there. This is off of uh, 2006, which we'll be using for a future project. Uh, I'm going to take that one off. And it should work. So it fit great. Now we're gonna tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten up. Vamos a una apretada aquí. A ver. Let's tighten it up a little bit. There we go. What are power tools, man? I'll get them in a minute. This one work. go it's in there the indicator there we're good just got to get them crush washers crushed just like so that should be good enough so we're gonna have that now we're gonna tighten this one with a little tan right here hold that one tighten it down good to go well we ran into the first issue I can uh, pump the hell out of this and it will not. It doesn't go anywhere. It's full, nothing. A uh, good example would be the one from the B15 that I have. This one right here, see? the slightest fluid in here and as you can tell um, it's pretty hard to do with one hand but one pump and it is squirting let's see if we can get that nope it's already empty okay so I'm gonna say that the what is this this is not the slave master Slave master? I don't know. Whatever this is, we gotta order this. It's out of the Altima, 2001 manual Altima. It's gonna have to be ordered, brand new. I'm gonna let it uh, see if it gravity feeds itself, you know. And when I did remove this, when I removed this, I checked it. Okay, so that 
was on a hydraulic transmission like this with the slave, right? And it uh, it moved the, the clutch in and out, you know, it did its job. And all I did was remove it and now it doesn't want to work. Uh, I don't adjust the throw because we know that it works. So this adjustment here never gets moved when it gets placed into a different car. Well, at least I never touch it because you know this this throw here, this movement is functional. And remember, it, it gets bolted up to the firewall, so you never adjust this. You know, if it's high, it's high. If the pedal's high, it's high. But what I want is for it to be functional. So I never moved that. I never adjusted it or what have you. So I'm gonna say it went bad. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And we're going to uh, come back to it tomorrow and bleed the brakes. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's it's going. This we're gonna finish this up. Hopefully, we can drive it around the block here pretty soon. You know, putting in some gears. She's gonna be loud because it just has the downpipe to halfway. Other than that, it's open. But uh, yeah, this is new. This was ordered new for the P11 Trans, so I know that's new. Uh, the hose is new. But this is of course from uh, Junkyard, I'm trying to save it. So if I have to replace it, well, I guess that's what we need to do. I did clean it up, I put new, I know it looks kind of dirty in there, but I did clean it up. But for some reason now it won't, uh, you know, it won't do the hydro action. It won't, uh, and it should be squirting out of that hole, you know. So we're gonna leave it like that overnight, hopefully tomorrow, but I am gonna probably just order a new one. Ordenamos uno nuevo y problem solved, right? I mean, so we put that on there. We're gonna see if this ends up getting wet sometime overnight. If it does, that means it's slowly gravity. It's doing its job, but we'll find out. I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. Uh, you can pump the pedal and this does not move at all. That fluid does not go down, doesn't get sucked into the slave or nothing, the master cylinder. And it will not come out of that tip right there. Been at it for yeesh, a good hour, maybe two hours. Uh, we did add a, you know, one of these deals. Uh, still no action. So either the seals in there went bad on me on the removal, which is way, way, the odds of that happening are way out there, but it does happen. So I'm gonna let it be. We'll put the cap back on. If anything does leak through, it will show me that tomorrow when I come back to it. But that is gonna be the end of this. It's a trial and error, and if we have to, we order some new parts to get it on the road. You know, that's all I'm worried about is the clutch. No drip drip on the fuel. And uh, tidy up these wires on the start button. And uh, she's a... Uh, Good to go.